Hi guys, it's Ksenia. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming really late. It's 10.30 right now. I never film. Fun fact, but I never film at night. Usually I like to film first thing in the morning or like midday. I rarely, if ever, film at night, especially this late at night. So this is a little new for me, but at the same time, I feel like I have the most energy at night. So maybe I need to start filming more at night. Anyways, today's video is going to be a pretty large declutter. As you all know by now, I'm going to be moving. And because of that, gradually, I'm going to need to downsize quite a bit. Bit because let's just say it's not really realistic to fly overseas with 300 perfumes in your suitcase. I still have a little bit of time before the move, but I'm trying to kind of gradually, you know, let go of fragrances. It's getting really, really hard, let me just say that. At this point, when I do these declutters, I don't dislike any of the fragrances that I'm letting go of. I'm just letting go of them if I don't use them or if they're not like a true, true love of mine. In the process of me decluttering, I'm also still gonna be purchasing fragrances because at the end of the day, this is my job and I do wanna give you guys new fragrances. But I wanna be conscious of the fact that if I'm gonna be discovering new fragrances and just trying out new fragrances, I have to definitely let go of others because I would say about a year ago, I was just buying, buying, buying and my collection went to like over 300. It was really overwhelming if I'm being honest and not even just due to moving, but I never wanna get to that point ever again. It's too overwhelming. Today, I have 17 fragrances that I'm letting go of. Even though I'm doing all these declutters, my collection is still kind of steady at, I would say right now is at about 150. That is without fragrances that I am gonna be hauling soon because I have bought a few new fragrances due to all these releases i've been finding some really really amazing perfumes so i feel like when it does come to the point of me actually having to move and really 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 narrowing down what i'm gonna bring with me it's gonna be extremely hard i don't even know how many fragrances i'm gonna be traveling with and by the way for anybody that is i don't know if you work in tsa if you work in airports if you know anything like customs wise how many fragrances am I allowed to travel with? I know the liquid requirement is like under three fluid ounces, but how many can I travel with? And if I travel with like a hundred, are they gonna throw them all away? I've done a little bit of research on it, but it seems like there isn't like a concrete piece of information. But either way, if I do have to not bring as many fragrances, I'm still gonna be hauling fragrances over there. I'm just gonna basically sell what I have here and then maybe rebuy some over there. It's gonna be a little difficult when it actually comes down to doing it, but I just wanna ask you guys that in case you know anything about that, cause I don't. Anyways, with all that said, as per usual, all of these are gonna be listed on my Mercari. My Mercari shop is the first link in my description box. And just a little heads up, because I feel like every time I do these declutters and I let you know things are gonna be on my Mercari, by like a couple days, a lot of things are sold. And then I get people telling me like that they missed out and they can't wait till my next drop. So if you want anything, be sure to get it pretty quickly. Obviously I have no way of knowing in each declutter what's gonna sell first, but things do go pretty quickly after I post. So that's just a little heads up. I did also make a community tab post and three of these scents have already sold as I did last time. I like to give you guys like a heads up before the heads up. So some people were really quick to snatch some of these up, but there is still a good amount of them, 14 of them that are still available as of the time that I am filming this video. Before we get into it, please subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications on and let's get started. Okay, quick intermission. This is nothing to do with perfumes, but it is related to nice smell. I need to show you guys this. I made banana bread and can we, can we take a moment? I mean, she's stunning. I, I, I have no words. It looks so good. I cannot wait to eat this. It was my first time making banana bread and the pan is still a little hot because I just took it out of the oven so I need to put it down. But I needed to show you because I'm just super proud of it. I'm just gonna start this side and go from there. So first scent that I'm decluttering is Violet Eyes by Elizabeth Taylor. I don't know if I've even hauled this ever in a video. It was in my hauling drawer for a long time, like fragrances that I need to make videos on. I think I might've actually included it in a video, but it wasn't a perfume haul. But this scent is actually so beautiful. To me, this is kind of like the feminine version of Dolce & Gabbana's Light Blue. It's more sweet and it has this violet -y sort of vibe. It's really, really pretty. Obviously, Elizabeth Taylor has fragrances that have been around for a very, very long time. So I was kind of afraid if it was gonna smell dated. It does not. It is such a beautiful scent. It's almost like light blue was more sweet, more feminine, and slightly more powdery. That's kind of the best way that I can 
explain this. It still has this upbeat citrusy vibe and it's very fresh for the most part, but it is sweeter than light blue and it has a slight powdery vibe, which is not nauseating or anything that's like too much to handle. This is a full size bottle. It is completely new, it comes with the packaging. So you're gonna have this for a long time for whoever buys it. Okay, let me go to this because I know when I posted the community tab, some people had a couple questions as to why I'm getting rid of this and a couple other ones that I've stated I really, really love. And again, as I said in the beginning, none of these fragrances I hate. I don't even dislike them. I really, really like some of these, but I have others that I like more, I guess. So I am getting rid of Jean-Paul Gaultier Scandal. I have debated on decluttering this. Every declutter that I've done, I go to it and I'm like, should I declutter it? I barely ever wear it, but then I go and smell it or I spray it on me and I'm like, oh, but this smells so good and it's so sexy and intoxicating. But then, in each declutter that comes, time passes on and I still don't use it. Especially for where I live, this fragrance is almost unwearable. It's just too much for hot weather. Where I am gonna move, there actually is seasons, which is gonna be great, but at the same time, I don't know, I have other fragrances that I love. They're like a tier higher than this, so. Ultimately, I just decided to let it go because look at this bottle. It is completely new. Another reason why it's really hard to make a dent into this is because it is so strong. Literally, you need like, I wouldn't even say two sprays. Like that's if you want to be bold. You literally just need like one spray from far of this and you're going to smell like it for like seven days straight. It is like a honey bomb. You can truly smell that honey. And it just has this sexy feminine femme fatale sort of darkness to it. It's perfect for like a date night. It's just a really beautiful scent and this is unfortunately already sold so someone already had their hands on this whoever bought this you're gonna have this for a long time because you do not need much of this for it to last you like forever all right another scent that is also sold this is chanel chance oh fresh this one i got a little bit of a dent in it it's still more than halfway full and this is a 3.4 fluid ounce of it so it is a large bottle so there is still quite a bit of juice left in here i got to the point where i was only spraying this every time i was going to the gym because i'm like i just want to get rid of this and i was just trying to kind of use it up and the only way i would use it up is to go to the gym this is a beautiful scent so let me start off by there i love this but i don't know i gravitate towards other scents more this is a strong cedar like very fresh very crisp and almost masculine scent it is super citrusy it is so freaking sexy even though it's more of like a fresh scent i would literally wear this on a date night because there's something so captivating about this the cedar just stands out so much it's almost like that scent of like walking into an Abercrombie store or a Hollister, but make it slightly more feminine. That is Chanel Chance Oh Fresh. This is a great scent. I just, when I find myself trying to use up a scent just for the sake of me finishing it so I can stop using it, that's kind of a sign that I should probably declutter it. And whoever bought it, you will truly love that scent. It's incredible. Then this is the last scent that is sold. So everything else and this is currently available on there. I think this was the first one that sold like the moment I put that community tab post up. And I think it's because I'm pretty sure, or maybe I'm not sure, but I think this is discontinued because I looked this scent up and I saw that some people had marked this up on eBay for like $300. So I've actually never talked about this on my channel. The reason being, I've just had it in my little perfume haul drawer. I think because I didn't like it, I just was kind of like ignoring it. But I'm like, no, I can't be doing this anymore. Especially now more than ever where I really need to start downsizing. So this is Vera Wang Princess Night. I think it's nice, but it's one of those scents that gives me a headache. It is really sweet. The bottle is really nice. It has like a purpley hue when it's against the light. I can see the purple through it. Otherwise, it just looks like black glitter all throughout it. The scent, I don't know. It's a little nauseating to me. It's very sweet and it has, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of almost like a stronger version of Fancy by Jessica Simpson, which already took me a while to get behind that scent i do really like it now and i actually do wear it from time to time and i'm not ready to declutter that i don't know if i ever will we'll see but this kind of slightly reminds me of it but it's stronger and it just gives me a headache over time and i'm i'm usually into strong scents but again like it depends on the scent. Okay, everything else it is all available as of now i'm gonna list these as one listing because they're two kind of small like little one fluid ounces so i didn't want to just 
list them individually. First, I have Paris Hilton Can Can. I really like this scent. It is so freaking good. It's almost like pink sugar, but for someone that likes fresher scents. It has this fruity, almost cotton candy vibe, but it's a little bit more fresh and it's not as dense as pink sugar, I guess. It doesn't have that burntness of pink sugar. The only time I ever really used this was to go to the gym and stuff like that because it's a pretty light scent. If you do pack it on though, it does stay a good amount of time and it can make it strong. And then I'm including Rihanna's Nude. This is also really nice but I don't know why I've kept it for so long. It's really pretty. Nude is the perfect name for it. It's like a fresher-ish sort of scent. It has a little bit of sweetness and it has this sexy vibe to it. So it's really pretty. This one isn't even one fluid ounce. It's actually 0.5. So yeah, this is almost kind of like a little bundle. Okay. All right, I have two Juliana scents that I'm getting rid of purely because I feel like I have similar scents to these scents in my collection. So first is Bad Bitch. This is supposed to dupe Rouge Malachite and I have Angel and I also have the Dolce Gabbana, the only one in tent. Those are two supposedly dupes for Rouge Malachite as well. Now this is like an actual dupe of Rouge Malachite so I feel like this would smell kind of the closest to the scent and it's a beautiful scent. It has that heavy jasmine, it's really sexy and honestly the name of this explains it. Perfectly. And then I'm getting rid of a more Santal. This is supposed to be a dupe of Santal Complete. Complete. I, I don't know. This is like a really fruity scent, but it has this niche quality to it. It's not your basic little fruity perfume, if that makes sense. It has a really, really high end niche type of vibe about it. And I feel like I have scents like this in my collection. I barely wear it. So yeah, now I have a pretty decent collection of Juliana scents that I really, really, truly love. And I think it'll take a while if ever I decide to declutter those scents. But I think I'm good with my little Juliana's collection as of now. I feel like when I put the post on my community tab, most people were shocked to see this in it. Because I've talked about this so highly and I'm still going to continue to talk about it highly. I freaking love this scent. This is Cacherelle. Yes, I am. This is so sexy and honestly, it's stunning. For an affordable scent, this is one of the most delicious. It is literally a red lipstick type of smell. It has this like tonic vibe to it. It's really, really sweet, but it still maintains like this perfumey scent. The only reason why I'm getting rid of this is because I have a brand new bottle that I literally, I'll show you. I literally have a brand new bottle of this. I haven't even unwrapped it. And obviously because of downsizing reasons, I'm, I just, I'm over having like doubles. Back in the day, I was in this buying backups for everything era and I'm done doing that because honestly, it's too much. Like, why do I need 300 perfumes of the same scent? Especially when I have so many scents, it's like, I can't even get to the first one. What makes me think I'm gonna get to the second one? Even as much as I love it. And I also have this, which is even a bigger size than this which I don't know what this one is called. I don't remember, but this smells very similar to this. It just has more of like a berry vibe, but it is a flanker to the original. So it still smells a ton like it, just with a berry vibe. And because I have this and because I have this, I think I'm pretty set with these fragrances. So I'm like, let me get rid of it. And then I'm getting rid of Issey Miyake by, Lo wait, no, this is Lode Issey by Issey Miyake. This is a really, really nice scent. And it's so nostalgic for me because my mom wore this growing up. I've said many times my mom has the complete opposite scent taste that I do. She loves really, really fresh type scents. She hates anything sweet. Hey, she hates all my perfumes pretty much, which is nice because then she can't steal them. But yeah, she's not into gourmands. This is kind of like the scents that she likes, kind of more aquatic, kind of citrusy, fresher type of scents. Her signature scents for a long time was Chloe Nomad, which she actually stole from me. She also loves like Coco Mademoiselle. She used to love Bright Crystal and then this. So if that gives you an idea, that's her taste. This smells so good. It has this fresh fruity vibe with this like aquatic feel to it, but then it also has this strong sort of white floral, but in the prettiest way ever. It's so feminine and it's a really, really beautiful scent, but I do have like my perfect Freshies that I freaking love like Dolce by Dolce & Gabbana You will never see me decluttering that ever. That is like a signature of mine and then like Irresistible, Glossier U Those are just to name a few some of like my favorite 
freshies and I feel like those are always what I gravitate towards so I decided to let go of this. Alright, next up I'm letting go of Finery, not another Jerry. So this was another situation of having a double. This is a Target exclusive brand and they basically dupe a lot of high-end fragrances and this one is... If it's not evident already, it's supposed to be a dupe of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, which I actually have an Okja dupe of it as well. So I'm deciding to keep that one and just let go of this one. It smells really good though, and I can confirm it smells exactly like Lost Cherry. It's like just a really deep, sexy, sensual, dark cherry, and it's really, really nice. This was another one that people were shocked by. This is Paris Hilton Dazzle. Guys, I love this scent, and no, I'm not steering away from sweet fragrances because I feel like some of you guys saw these scents and you were like shocked like oh my god are you not into sweet fragrances of course i am literally 99.9 percent .9 of my collection is sweet fragrances and guys keep in mind like i said i have over 150 scents so yeah i still am into sweet scents i will never not be into sweet scents but i'm getting rid of dazzle because this is a dupe of loli lampica to me it's like a really really nice cherry sort of scent it has this lipsticky makeup sort of vibe and it's basically almost like a dupe of lolita lampica and also lipstick fever by julia hezagun which i have both of i'm okay with owning both of those i don't think i need a third one but this is really nice for a celebrity scent it does not smell like it and it's so strong and actually lasts a long time apart from the cherry this also has champagne in it so really beautiful scent just don't need Duplicates. Then I'm getting rid of Enduring Glow by JLo. I like this scent, but I never used it. And I think it's just because it's a really floral scent for me. It's a little too floral. It's really nice. But the couple times that I have worn it, after a few hours, it kind of ends up giving me a headache. There's something about it. Maybe the fact that it has this slight soapy vibe. After a while, I'm just over it. This is a great dupe though. For a Chloe scent, I'm not really sure which one exactly. I'm gonna put it on the screen which Chloe scent this is a dupe of, but it smells identical to that because I have smelled that perfume. It smells really expensive though, let me just say that. All right, this might be also a little bit of a shocker. This is Anna Abieth by Latafa. I included this in my Reviewing Air Fragrances video. This, I would have to say, ended up becoming kind of my least favorite out of all those scents. I really like all the other ones. They are here to stay. Casablanca, obviously Yara, a new one that I recently bought, which I can't wait to share with you guys, has also been like my favorite at the moment. I wore this to a cruise that I went on in May, I think. I don't even remember. I have like no concept of time at this point. I liked it then. I don't know if it was because I was like in vacation mode and it didn't bother me, but now I wear it and after a couple hours, it kind of bothers me. This is a very musky scent. The reason why I bought this is because this is supposed to be a dupe of Herba Pura by Zerjoff. And at the time, I didn't want to spend the money on that scent. So I was looking for a dupe. This was the first thing that came up. I snatched it real quick. It's super affordable on Amazon. And now that I have smelled Herba Pura, I would say this comes close to it for sure. But I still prefer Herba Pura a little bit more. But I actually ended up not even loving Herba Pura. I was in this little niche perfume shop in Miami and I smelled it and I had my cousin in the car too and my husband too and it kept smelling like bathroom air freshener after a while and ever since that scent it kind of scarred me from this scent type and this one is also a lot more musky than the Herba Pura. Herba Pura is a lot more fruity. It is really strong though, like super strong. This will last you forever. It is only like a one point something fluid ounce bottle like 1.02 it's like a one fluid ounce practically but literally this will last you for so long because you only need like a couple sprays minimal sprays of this and it will last as though you sprayed like a million sprays it's really really strong okay finally did it i finally got rid of uh fantasy by britney spears i literally was only holding on to this because of nostalgia reasons, because I never used it. I wore this scent all throughout middle school, maybe even into high school a little bit. So every time I smell it, I think about that and I just don't wanna smell like that anymore. Nothing wrong with that, obviously. It's still a nice scent. It has this like kiwi, it has like cupcake notes and these nice gourmandi notes, but to be honest, it's kind of more tart than you would think. But I'm just, I'm over it. I don't see myself wearing this at this point 
in my life. I only kept it because every once in a while I love going into my collection and smelling it and it just kind of reminded me of all those memories but that's not really a reason to hold on to a scent and maybe if I wasn't moving I wouldn't care too much for it to take space but now that I have to kind of be strict I can't be keeping perfumes just because I like how they smell but I'm not actually wearing them. Alright guys I did it. I got rid of Mariah Carey M. If you guys just saw my most recent video, the layering video, where I showed the layering combo with this and I told you guys all about how I'm just unsure of this scent, I came to the realization that I'm gonna declutter it. Again, I still go back and forth. Like, even smelling it now, I still go back and forth. Like, I'm smelling it and I'm like, ah, oh, but this is nice. And I'm getting stressed. The wishy-washiness is enough to be like, okay, you don't like this. This has marshmallow in it and it has really nice notes that I would typically love, but it also has gardenia, which ruins it for me. <laughs> I think that's what ultimately is making me not like this. It kind of gives us this, this mature vibe. And you guys did give me some ideas for some really nice layering combos to do with this. I tried it with that Beach Nights that I showed in my layering combo and it's nice, but I don't know. The gardenia throws me off and ultimately I was just like, okay, I think it's time. I've held on to it for long enough and just not used it. So I would rather just, you know, use the ones that I really, really love instead of holding on to a scent that I sometimes love. Then I got rid of Diesel Loverdose. This is the original one. I'm still holding on to Loverdose Red Kiss because I slightly like that one more. The reason why I'm getting rid of this one is because this is a duplicate. So Loverdose, again, kind of falls into Lipstick Fever and Lolita Lampica. And maybe even Black Opium. Like if you combine all those scents together, it's Loverdose. It's super sexy, really feminine. Again, kind of like a femme fatale scent. You could wear this on a date night and it will get you compliments. The bottle is gorgeous. It's like a heart crystal. But I was not using it and I find myself gravitating towards the Red Kiss version a lot more. Which has a little bit of this already, but it's just a little bit different. Right. And then the last scent I'm getting rid of is Escada's Magnetism. This is again one of those eh kind of scents in my collection that stayed and has made it through a lot of declutters because I do really like it but it's not a scent I use a whole ton. And what ultimately made me really want to get rid of this is because my mom has this and she doesn't really love it. So I think I'm just going to get hers. <laughs> if I ever miss this scent, I'm just going to get hers because she doesn't even want hers. I don't need to be holding on to this. It's nice, beautiful notes, really unique scent, honestly. It's unlike most of Escada scents, which are typically like really fruity, almost like body spray vibes. This is not. This is a lot more complex and more sexy and just better. Right. That is it for this declutter. I know it was pretty large, but it had to be done, especially because I've been buying new fragrances. I have to be very diligent with also downsizing at the same time. With all my upcoming plans, I can't keep adding. I have to add as I'm letting go. Definitely go ahead onto my Mercari if you're interested in any of these. Purchase them as fast as possible before they do sell out. I'm not sure when I'm gonna do another declutter. I think it's gonna be a little bit because I am pretty happy with my collection now, but who knows? That is it for me today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!